Hey, you guys, Lynn Farmer 73 here. I'm going to show you this video. I didn't do too much editing. I just really pretty much kept it in real time because I wanted it to be in real time events. So it's not no big fancy video. I just wanted to throw you the truth. I wanted you to see this Bougier V. I call it my um, super lunchbox. I wanted you to see the Bougier V 23 quart refrigerator freezer in a real life situation. I didn't want to have it in my kitchen or out on my island. I wanted you to see it at work for real, getting dirty and what it's capable of. It was over 100 degrees in my uh, truck today and it stayed frozen all day. The Jackery 500 powered it for over eight hours. So I'm just now getting home and plugging it back up. Got the Jackery charging up. The Jackery got down to like 10%, but the Bouge RV held its own all day. So it was over 100 degrees inside of the truck. Inside here, my water was frozen. It's not anymore. But it's still, you can see it's still ice cold by the condensation. My cheese, I shouldn't have put, I thought I was going to have to put it on zero degrees Fahrenheit, but that was a mistake. I didn't think it was going to pull it off, but it did. So um, I cranked it down too low. You don't have to. This thing is sealed it's tight and solid. I didn't believe in the the seals here but i was wrong the seals kept all of the cool inside and all of the heat outside so it's very very well insulated now i know because i drive these trucks every day it gets hot in there i know what this thing just been through so here's one of the plums that we bought at the market ice cold. So do me a favor. Check out this video and watch it very closely. I couldn't even say that right. Watch this whole video and watch it very closely. You might have a chance to win this one right here. Not this one. How about a brand new one? Okay, watch this whole video closely. You might want to watch it two or three times. Trust me. All right, check it out. All right, y'all, Live Farm 73 here. Today, I'm going to be putting the Bouge RV refrigerator freezer through real life tests. All right. I'm gonna take it to work with me today. So here we go. All right, there we go. Today, I'm gonna to be taking the Bouge RV 23 quart with me to work today for my lunchbox. So it's super hot out here. It's gonna be like 95 degrees today and it's gonna be hard keeping things cold. So I figured what a better time to get, give it a shot. <laughs> Than right now so i'm going to be powering this with the jackery 500 and we're going to see how it works out let's get it it's nicely in my truck plenty of space I'm going to be hooking it up to the Jackery 500. The DC plug. Got that plugged in. Now let's cut on the DC. There it goes. She is on. And it's going to be a hot day today. So I'm going to turn this 
into freezer mode. I'm gonna take this temperature down. Let's take it to zero, just in case. All right, there we go. We got zero Fahrenheit. All right, last but not least, my lunch. I know it's not much, but I gotta do it. Gotta have my pickles. All right, now we get our jug of water, and we'll be good to go. Real life situation, let's do it. All right, guys, let's get it going. I got work to do. Time to deliver the donuts. All right, let's get it. So as you can see, the wire is long enough from the Bouge RV to reach all the way up here in my cockpit. So I got the Jackery sitting right here so I can use it for other things like charging my phone and uh, running another fan in here cause it gets hot in here. So right here, look, I got plenty of cord to go to. So I can put this anywhere in my vehicle that I want right now. So it's a plus. Just set that right there. Real life situations, family. Let's get at it. <sighs> okay, as you can see the Jackery with the compressor on and I got it down to zero degree Fahrenheit. With the compressor running, I'm down, I'm pulling 42 watts. When it hits zero Fahrenheit, that's gonna shut off. So uh, I used a little bit of my power this morning. So I'm down to 92%. Let's see how this goes on an eight hour day. So we'll get some water hot off the shelf. So that's very warm. We're going to try that out and see what happens. The plan is for this to freeze or get cold enough where it's a nice treat in the middle of the day. So let's go. Okay, guys, we're down to 18 degrees Fahrenheit that fast. Okay, I just said it about 15, 20 minutes ago. So we got our water. Get her in there. Oh, 18 degrees might be too much. I don't want my turkey getting cold. So, all right, we're going to leave that there. And I'm going to raise this because it is like freezing my turkey meat already. Unlock. And now I'm going to keep, I'm going to bring that up to about. It's at 19 right now. That's where we're going to leave it. 20 degrees should be fine. Freezing it might be doing too much. There we go. Let that lock in. We should be all right now. All right, guys. Real world travels. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Now that the compressor cut off, I'm only pulling two watts. And that's probably from this little light right here. So as while my compressor is not running, there is nothing being pulled from the Bouge RV refrigerator freezer. And we're down to 89%. Something for, for something for lunch. Uh -huh. I sure appreciate you. Thank you, sir. That's on you. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. All right, you have a nice day. All right. All right. One more thing to add to our refrigerator here. Okay. It says 55 degrees. That must be outside because I know it ain't in here. No, it's not in here, baby. Look at that ice. Oh, yeah. It's ice cold in here. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, my turkey might be a little too cold. Uh-oh, we okay. We okay. We just added some plum to our groceries. Little diet do. Nice plums. Almost lunchtime. All right.
Let's get it. See our Jackery status. I got a box fan plugged up, my cell phone, and the Bouge RV 23 quart. And uh, the Jackery is down to uh, 62%. So we're doing pretty good. We don't got too much longer to go before it's time to clock out. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what's going on. It's time to get a drink. Let's see what we got. Plums ice cold. It say 44 degrees, but it's definitely not 44 degrees inside here, as you can see at all. So let's cut us open a cold drink. It's so hot, I'm not even hungry right now, but my turkey looking good. Everything is ice cold. My pickles is cold. Oh, yeah. Pickles is ice cold. Okay. Ice cold. Let's see if we can crank this out with one hand. How about teeth? Try that. Ice cold. So, let me close it. <laughs> so, real life scenarios. If you see how hot it is out here, this thing is drenched. It gotta be 98 or higher today. So, it works you guys. Bouge RV 23 quart is pulling it off in this truck. So let's see what else it can do. Let's see how it do on the way home. That could be right in the back of your truck right there or your car. And if you think your car ain't big enough, wait till you see this. Results are in. Results are in. Eight hour day. I'm down at 22%. I'm still pulling 45 watts. Had my big fan running and the Bouge RV 23 quart. Everything here still icy. Everything did good. Since 40 degrees, it might be 40 degrees on the outside of this, but it's ice cold inside here. So, <clears throat> there you go. And I ran it with the Jackery 500 all day. Just like this. Set it in the back of a Mini Cooper. Set it in the back of my Mini Cooper. Good as gold. That's it, you guys. Time to go home. The Bouge RV did a heck of a job real life situations with the equipment we use. Just wanted to throw that at you guys. I hope you guys liked the video. I know it wasn't much, but I just wanted to put it through the test. So we're gonna be going live tomorrow night, Friday night, the 16th. We're gonna be going live. We're gonna give one of these away. Tomorrow we're gonna play a little game. Saturday, we're gonna give it away. So be there tomorrow one of these might be yours all right so remember going live tomorrow night you got a chance to win one of these all right rough times right now everybody could use one so i even have something for the people that don't win all right so keep watching Live on 73, I love you.